Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to route MIDI from Liquid Rhythm to another plugin using Cubase 7. So the first thing we need to do is load an empty project. So you're first met with this screen. Select empty and click create. Okay. Now click devices in the menu bar and select VST instruments. The first thing we want to do is load Liquid Rhythm into one of the tracks. Once that's loaded, um, select Create when you're prompted by this message from Cubase. And go ahead and load a loop. So to do so, you can just click the Loops tab and let's go with Dub. Okay, so here's our loop. Now switch back to Cubase and load another plugin. I'll use mm, Ultra Analog. And click Create when you're asked to create a MIDI track corresponding to it. So let's pick anything. Jocko Bass sounds good. And now you want to click the, the track header which should just be selected by default. And where it says all MIDI inputs, change that to liquid rhythm. So now what, what will happen is when I press play, actually let's first set up a loop region just by dragging that triangle across and clicking the transport cycle on off button. Now when I press play, we'll have the drums and ultra analog playing simultaneously. Uh, we could speed that up to make it sound a bit better. Tempo, drag that up a bit. So if you just want to hear what you're doing to Ultra Analog, click Devices and click Mix Console. Find Liquid Rhythm. Liquid Rhythm is this track right here, it's just not labeled yet. So if I mute that. And I can hear what I'm doing in Liquid Rhythm. And I can try different, different loops. So that's all it takes to root MIDI from Liquid Rhythm into your plugin using Cubase 7. Thanks for watching.